choose to put on my feet when bad things happen. The earth begins to shatter. Our bleeding hearts matter to the life-giving one up above. When lives are taken and children one up above for those of us who have eyes let us see the struggles of those who are in desperate need let us reset our minds lay our differences aside You're listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. All right. What's going on, family? What's up? What's up? Welcome, welcome to Next Man Up with Dr. Paul Kelly and friends. That's right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Share this file. That's right. You're listening to the Batman. Charm City, baby. Welcome, welcome all good happy friday hope everybody had a great great friday that's right let's open this thing up get our bible study on get our podcast on get our radio on all right ladies and gentlemen welcome welcome dr paul kelly what's going on sir Praise the Lord, Batman. How are you doing, Our CEO, producer Jerry Royce Live? How are you doing this evening, sir? Awesome, sir. All right, you ready? You ready to introduce the cast? You got, you got your man Miguel Esposito. He's here, John Ross, and uh, we waiting for a couple other guys. We're waiting for the record producer. All right, man. You ready to get started, sir? So, yes, sir. Amen. We're going to open up in prayer. Good evening, gentlemen. Mr. Esperazzo and Apostle John Rawls. How are you gentlemen doing today? Doing great, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Amen. We're glad to have you all once again. Gentlemen, I want to take a few minutes to say we really appreciate your your diligence and your leadership. We really appreciate you, gentlemen. And we're just looking forward to hopefully just meeting you all one day. Amen. And just just worship God and just continue to represent this platform. We really, we really appreciate you guys. Mr. Esperanza, would you mind just listening up in prayer and uh, Apostle John Ross? Thank you once again, sir. Close us out at the end of the show, sir. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let's, let's go in prayer, man. Amen. Father, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you for this time that you allotted unto us, Lord, that we could just get into your word, get into fellowship, Lord, that we would be able to just speak the things that you have poured out into our hearts to speak this evening. Father God, we pray that the word would just go forth with the anointing, with the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord, to set the captives free, Lord. We ask that every ear that might be listening tonight, Father, that their hearts would be open right now in the name of Jesus to receive what it is you would have for them tonight, Lord, and that somebody here might either get to know you personally 
so yes, that God. they at least those that do know you would walk away a little more equipped and a little more ready to handle whatever it is you have for them, Father God. Mm -hmm. And so we're just thankful this evening. We give you praise, glory, and honor. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Powerful prayer. Amen. I'm going to give this back to our producer, Mr. Jerry Royce, live. Amen. To uh, just uh, share with our listening audience around the country, amen, some quick updates amen on positive power ladies and gentlemen mr jerry roy amen amen thank you everybody for tuning in and just want to let you know dr kelly dr kevin rames is in the queue also we got minister john ross and uh, uh mr minister miguel's here all right uh quick updates everybody please tune in to music vision television y'all we got some brand new shows we got gospel music magazine with summer has been loaded on our facebook page also you catch it streaming live on our youtube page and also we just released a new show for late night with jerry was live also we got some visitors coming into the studio and we hope the, that it'll be nice and awesome we Get a chance to launch that for everybody to check out. We won't reveal who those characters are right now, but uh, we're going to have a good time tomorrow in the studio. And also, don't forget, on Monday night, starting at Monday night, tune in, y'all, starting at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, that's right. We're late now with Jervis Live. And also, you catch the replays for free, and she will be back probably the first of the year. But we will be running replays. Also, Tuesday at 9.15, catch uh, Dr. Paul Kelly with Pastor's Time. Bible study. So catch that on Tuesday. And uh, we got some other big surprises coming up real soon, y'all. So just hold tight. We're going to be releasing um, some Christmas specials coming up uh, starting on Thursday, this, this Thanksgiving. I'm sorry. We're going to be releasing a short film called Bad Girls by Sheba Jordan from New York. She's a, a, a movie and playwright. And we're going to be releasing something. So look for that the Thanksgiving weekend. Then going into the holidays, we will be releasing some new uh, short uh, documentaries on who I am so you get a chance to see uh, Dwayne Gott uh, Mr. Harvey and uh, 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 Mr. Alexander and a couple other guys you haven't seen yet and Dr. Terrell so you see that real soon so look for that uh, next man up who I am docuseries and um, that's it doc we, we give you some more updates next Friday thank you guys hallelujah praise God robot can you show our producer Jerry Royce and now we're guest panelists on tonight. Can you show them some love out there at Robot? Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Once again, we thank everyone for tuning in on this powerful episode. And we also thank our special guest on this powerful episode. Amen. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't get a chance to give him a shout out in the queue. Ladies and gentlemen, the special guest is platinum record producer dr kevin rains a man i want to bring him right in and then we're going to uh bring the producer songwriter miguel perfecto in and uh multi-award winner talk show host. let's talk to lord apostle john ross we're going to let each one of these gentlemen introduce themselves starting with a man uh platinum record producer dr kevin rhymes amen you with us tonight sir yes sir can you hear me loud and clear Yes, sir. We got you, sir. Great. We thank you very much, sir. Amen. We just want to remind all the gentlemen on tonight, thank you once again for sharing this platform. Please check your backgrounds, amen, for FCC rules and regulations. Amen. We're on Spotify, iHeart. All this gets sent out, sent out to these media outlets. So we thank you all for governing yourself accordingly. Amen. Let's treat this like a champion. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, Hallelujah. amen. Platinum, record producer, guest, amen. Uh, Dr. Kevin Rains, amen. Who good is evening, Dr. Kevin Rains, amen? Give us a couple minutes, sir. Uh, well, uh, I, I'm first of all, I just want to thank God for being on this radio show. Um, I always count it as a privilege, first of all, to even be on this platform yes, and what yes. God has done in my life. Um, Brother Rains was born and raised in Harlem, New York moved to Hollis, Queens, where it all began. I lived around 50 LL, tribe called Quest. Wow, who else, man? 50 Cent, um, all these guys, pretty much before they uh, launched their career. So living in a place like New York, you, you're in the mecca of hip-hop. So you you either, either you know how to do it or you don't. Now... Oh, Either you, 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 you watch the society 
and it becomes incorporated in your in your music, whether it sells records or not, you just do it from the heart and what you feel. So, I mean, I could go on and on, and I want to be respectful of time for other gentlemen to um, introduce himself, but as later on in life, you know, the Lord saw fit to answer my prayer, even though I was praying for something else. Yes, sir. And, wow, it's just from uh, a, a prayer, a passionate prayer that I prayed, and it was from his word. So I'm grateful, and, and like I said, just honored to be on this platform because I, I don't feel like I'm worthy. So when you introduced me as a platinum producer, yes, I am, but that was in the world. So it's God has allowed world. me to to take that, take that and to to really show the world his power. What I mean mm-hmm. by that is that I was speaking one day and the Lord changed my whole perspective. Three views of the cross. We accept the cross. He died and he rose again. And then we pick up our cross. And then we preach the power of the cross. <laughs> yeah. Because this world still this world still I believe, and they're looking for signs and wonders. And I'm, I boldly stand on every platform, standing in front of my gold and platinum records, and saying, Jesus Christ, you took me out of that whole element. Only, mm. only, only for someone who don't believe to see me, Tupac's producer, Biggie's producer, Nas' producer, sharing the gospel of Christ, man. Amen. Yeah. And, that, and that's it. In a Hallelujah. nutshell, so praise God. My God, amen, man. Amen. Sure. amen. Go ahead, gentlemen. Praise God. Ladies and gentlemen, amen. Nation, you've just heard a man from, I like the way he introduced himself, amen. He said, brother, and I caught that, sir. I caught that, amen. And it goes right into this powerful panel discussion, amen, Mr. Rames, amen. He said, I'm simply brother, and I'm humbled to be on this platform. He did not go into a title or what or what may have you. He just simply said he's Brother Rames, and God changed his pers- perspective of who he is. And Jesus Christ took him out of that element, which we're going to be talking about that very element on tonight. Amen. So, sir, we thank you. Amen. And I feel your passion. Amen. We also have another passionate brother in waiting. And this brother is on fire. Amen. Producer, songwriter, very amen. humble man of God. Mr. Miguel amen. Perfecto. Amen. Talk to the nation. Amen. Who is Mr. Miguel Perfecto? Man, what's up, gentlemen? God bless you guys, man. This, you know Hallelujah. how we do it, doctor. You know how we do it, man. We just Praise God. put it out there for the Lord. We just keep it that's 100. It. We just be honest, transparent, you know, and, yeah. and that's just like my brother just said. You know, it's, it's all about the cross for me. It's all mm-hmm. about what Jesus has done on my behalf in order that people would know what he's done on their behalf. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I'm many things, not, not titles, but I'm many things to different people. You know, I'm a husband, I'm a father, um, you know, I'm a brother. I, I would like to think I'm a friend, um, you know, and, and yeah, I do music as well, you know, and, and we do that for the Lord. Um, and I hate how people make it like a cliche, like, oh, we doing it for God, you know, and, but it's like, when you really doing it for the Lord, you there's nothing else that comes with it, but God, there's nothing else. There's no other side, this side, that, this kind of motive, that kind of motive. So, you know, I, I, I do what I do because Jesus saved my life and I've always expressed my life through music. And so now that I'm saved, I can express my life in him through music still. Thank God he didn't say, Hey, throw that music rap stuff out the way. That's not even, you know, Thank God he didn't crumble that. You know, if anything, he took that and Amen. said, no, I want you to use this. It's okay. It's my vessel, but you were just, you just using it wrong. Yes. Amen. And, and, and Amen. until you get transformed with a new mind and a new heart, you don't know how to use what God Amen. created for us to use, you know, because the enemy likes to come in and pervert things, you know, just like you and I were both created with a great purpose. We are created in love with a destiny, but you know, along the way, you know, the enemy has perverted the mm. gifts of God. You know, my brother mentioned 
a lot of prominent names, Tupac, Biggie, people that I mm. looked up to when I was young, you know, and, and now that I'm saved, I'm like, man, they had the gift, but ah, it just wasn't rooted in Jesus, man. And if only they let Jesus take control of it, my God, because the gift came from him. Every good and perfect gift comes from the Lord. So I'm trying to be responsible in using the gift God gave me in music, hip hop, in, in doing that to him to bless people that need to know who he is and an audience that really nowadays is only listening to hip hop. So oh it's only fair that I do my part, you know, to contribute back um, to, to, to the youth and places that I came out of. So thank you, Dr. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, mighty man of God. Very, very well said, very well spoken, very eloquently spoken, expressing yourself through music and praise and worship. Amen. And that is what God has created us for, to worship with him. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, you just heard from artist producer Miguel Perfect. We thank you very much, sir. Amen. For being with us. Amen. And and waiting patiently. Amen. Minister. Amen. Multi winner. Amen. Award winner. Talk show host, podcaster. Let's talk to the Lord. Minister John Ross. Another passionate brother. Thank you for being with us on tonight, Minister John Ross. Amen. What's going on in Minister John Ross' world? Amen. I am blessed and highly favored and blessed to be here with the next Man Up Summit again this week. Dr. Kelly, we praise God for his goodness. We thank God. I am the creator and host of the Let's Talk to the Lord gospel radio talk show. And we praise God that I'm the the lead minister and founder of the Omega International Prophetic Ministries. And truly, we thank God for his goodness and his grace. We give respect to Dr. Raines and and, uh, Mr. Perfecto, the other panelists that are with us on tonight. And we have Remember Now Thy Creator. Amen. And it has been nominated for five Rhythm of the Gospel Awards for 2019. We've been nominated in Category 21 for Urban Contemporary Song of the Year, 22 for Holy Hip Hop and R&P Song of the Year, Category 24 Alternative Christian Song of the Year, Category 39 Traditional Male Vocalist of the Year, and Category 56 Best Performance by a mail and voting has begun so listening audience i need your support if you would please go to www.therhythmofthegospelawards.com and just click on voting and cast your vote for minister john e ross in each of those categories we definitely would appreciate your support and brother jerry we are participating locally here in wichita Kansas with Brother Jermaine Milton here locally. He is in the middle of his worshipers conference, and I had the pleasure to attending that conference last night, and I tell you, Brother, toward the floor up, we were shouting and having a time up in that place last night, and looking forward to participating with them again on tomorrow night. He has been nominated also for eight Rhythm of the Gospel Awards for This Joy and I Need You. He is another indie artist, and I'm finding out, Dr. Kelly, that we must learn to love and support each other as being indie artists. So he has a worship conference going on, and so we're out here in Wichita, Kansas, lending our support there. And last but not least, if you have not heard Ms. Tiffany on the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show, our topic is Christian rap in the church. And my God, she threw down on that episode. So if you have not checked it out, please go to speaker.com and check it out. Christian rap in the church and find out what the Lord has to say about Christian rap being in our churches. Hallelujah. Christian rap. Praise God. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, you just heard a man from talk show host, a man, multi-award winner, John E. Rawls. Amen powerful, compassionate man of God. Amen. And we really thank him for promoting, amen, others as well. 
very, very compassionate. Amen. Gentlemen, amen. Are you all ready to get to this powerful discussion? Amen. We have yes, prayed, amen. And at the end of the mm-hmm. service, this panel, amen, we're going to ask Mr. Uh, Minister Johnny Ross to close us out in prayer. Amen. And we also want to just give a quick shout out before we get into this powerful panel, amen, to uh, Mr. Brandon Sampson, amen, yeah. for providing us with tonight's inspirational, amen, commentary, praise God. And as the uh, dean and professor, amen, of Pastor Time International Bible College, amen, he has uh, passed this commentary on to me, and I'm honored to be able to, amen, collaborate not only with the next man up panel, but also on the International Bible College on Tuesday night. As you have heard, Jerry Royce, our producer, has shared that with you all. So once again, we thank you all. And we want to ask, amen, all of our listeners on tonight, begin to share this file. Amen. Share this right now. Begin to just tag it and share it. Amen. And just go ahead and send out your hearts. And just let us know that you're with us on tonight. Without further ado, amen, I want want to just wish our listening audience, amen, and a happy Thanksgiving around the country to our servicemen and women, amen. We wish them a happy Thanksgiving to their family members as well, especially th- for those who can't be with their families. So we wish them a very happy Thanksgiving around the country to our military bases. Amen. We salute them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to Jerry Royce Live. Positive Power Worldwide Christian Music and iHeart and Spotify. Welcome to another powerful episode of Next Man Up. Amen. A powerful weekly summit, amen, produced by multi-award winner and CEO, Mr. Jerry Royce, moderated by Dr. Paul Kelly. Amen. I also want to acknowledge, amen, we have uh we have other platform powerful, we have other powerful platform uh people on this platform who has moderated this show. Amen. Gifted men of God, award-winning producer, amen, talk show who he's on the show right now, Minister John Ross, an anointing, smooth-talking podcaster, host of Fire, Mr. Ron Jefferson. So these gentlemen have also shared this platform and moderator, amen. So we like to tip our hats off to them, amen, for sharing their professional, amen, journalism, and not only that, their spirit, amen. We have a power. Powerful. So let's get this. Let's get this. We're gonna we're gonna uh, ask our audience to participate in this tonight, Amen. Because this is really gonna bless somebody on tonight. This powerful yeah. show, Amen, is really going to bless somebody on tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. What do you want to be called, Amen, gentlemen? This is the topic for tonight. What do you want to be called? And the scripture reference, Amen, is coming from Gospel according to Matthew. The fifth chapter, 19th through the 20th verse, I'm going to repeat that for our listening audience. This commentary is coming out of, amen, the gospel according to Matthew 5, 19 to 20. Although we are based on profound doctrine and scripture on this platform, we ask you gentlemen to open up. Open up and share, because someone out there is listening, and someone out there, amen, is looking up to us, amen, to open up and to be transparent. So we base this on a spiritual, amen, uh, platform to let the nation know, to let the world know that we are, amen, about living and standing on the name of Jesus and on positive power. That's positive power, amen. Gentlemen, can you say amen on that? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So without further ado, our first key point, amen, that is relevant to this powerful international uh, panel of discussion, men, what do you want to be called? If you allow me about two minutes to set this up, amen. Jesus was teaching, amen, over there in Matthew, amen, the five, fifth chapter. It was right after the Beatitudes, literally, amen. And um, as a dean and professor of theology, I want you all to just kind of share with me, amen, what Jesus is saying in today's time, and he basically said in the fifth chapter, in the 17th verse, he said, do not think that I come to destroy the law. Gentlemen, this was right after the Beatitudes. Y'all know blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are those who mourn, blessed are the meek, and blessed blessed are those who hunger after thirst for righteousness, for they should be filled. 
Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And blessed are the pure in heart. And blessed are the peacemakers. And blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. That was a powerful, uh, uh, almost like a three-day sermon. It was powerful. He was he was doing this time. He had taken his disciples up to the Mount of Olives. This was near Capernaum. And so after coming down from that, he went right into another subject, another sermon on teaching the, teaching about the salt in the earth. Amen. Dr. Rames, you hit on it. And uh, Perfecto, you came right in on it. And then uh, Dr. Ross, uh, John Ross, you came right in on this. So we know we are in tune to a powerful show on tonight. Jesus said, do not think that he come to destroy the law or prophets. He said, I did not come to destroy, but to to fulfill. For assuredly, I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, not one jot, not one tittle of his, not by no means, none of his words shall pass, amen, from the law till it is fulfilled. That is the key here, amen. We're, We're talking about, Amen. Fulfilling what Jesus is bringing. In other words, he was just Jesus. Amen. He was God's only son. He didn't have no title. Amen. It wasn't doctor this. It wasn't bishop this. It was just Jesus. So if you allow me to set this up, here we go. It is a dangerous thing, and I pray that the nation is listening, amen, uh, those who are listening by first Facebook, share this. Here we go. It is a dangerous thing in doctrine or practice to disregard or intentionally break, amen, the least of God's command. I want to repeat that. It, it's a dangerous thing just to play around with God's command. Amen. His teaching. It's, it's very dangerous to do that, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. Don't don't play God. Don't try to play around with his word just to have a title. Right after Jesus had finished one of the longest recorded sermons, which was the Beatitude, you just heard me share that with the nation. He went right into another powerful sermon, a subject of being the salt and the light of the earth, meaning we as believers are the salt of the earth, and we should not lose our faith flavor. We should not lose, amen, that, that spirit, Mr. John Ross. Come on, somebody, Mr. Yeah. Reem, Mr. Rames, amen, and Mr. Perfecto. We are the salt, talking about godly favor, not a worldly favor. So he said yeah. it's dangerous. It's dangerous to mess with that intentionally and then break at least. One, just one, amen. So, and he's not saying we're perfect. He, Jesus is saying we're no way perfect. Okay, so here's here's the subject, amen. I want to kind of bring us in on the commandments are also are obeyed are to be obeyed and explained and fulfilled by Jesus' life and teaching, not as legalistic thinking. You know, the legal, you know, like the religious uh, men did mm-hmm. in the day, amen. <laughs> amen. Oh, yeah. not, I know them. Go ahead. Uh-huh. I know when them. Lost, you know them, baby man. Here we go. Yeah, I know when them. Lost, you know them, praise God. And here we go. I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to jump in there, amen. The law is no longer, amen, under the religious leaders, those those who wanted a name for themselves. And if you want to find about more about that, go over to Galatians 2. 15 and 21. I want to put that again out there for the panel. Amen. Galatians 2, 15 and 21. But our main topic is here, Matthew 5, amen, 17, amen, through 20. The law sends us to Jesus to be justified because it shows our inability to please God. We can't please God. Amen. All Mm -hmm. we have to do is be ourselves. Amen. Just be yourself. Amen. So the law, amen, for back in the biblical days was to learn the heart of God and the content and the conduct and sanctification. Amen. So here, here, here's the question. Here's what I want us to kind of just kind of let this sit in our spirits tonight. Amen. How do we present our ministry? And, and, uh, Dr. Reams, you hit on it. I'm going to give this. I'm going to give the mic to you. How do you serve, Dr. Reams? Amen. How do you present your ministry to stay grounded and humble to to demonstrate 
that you are the salt of the earth. You are the flavor. How do you demonstrate your ministry, amen? In other words, your spiritual gift to reflect who you are, sir. You are the next man up, sir. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Reigns. Hallelujah. Dr. Reigns, is he still with us? I'm sorry. Yes, I had it on mute, so it was no noise. Um, amen. Did you mean to repeat that, sir? No, I got you. Amen. I, um, I had it on mute, so I'm sorry. What oh, you're basically, fine. You're fine, sir. how I present my ministry, I do not, like if someone is, is, is introducing me, I tell them don't mention my past. Please don't. I don't want to be the biggest elephant in the room. Please. And lots of times I see how people's characters, see, we, oh. we have to understand we live here on the planet Earth and we have to maneuver through many different cultures of people. So even when I'm doing mentorship, we have this thing called first impression. So your first impression on an individual may not be a script. It's the love that you present to an individual that will have them really choose, like, wait a minute, why does this person love me? Or even in your even in your conversation. So before I even present anything dealing with ministry, I am, uh, I am showing. Get that out. Come on, bro. Go on. I'm showing, I'm showing a love that would basically till the ground. So they'll say, what is it about this man? Then that allows me to bring it in. Mm-hmm. Because I have to really get a man's heart prepared for that. Yes, sir. Because we could turn people off for God. I've been around many places where people are like, oh, I got Jesus, I got Jesus. Oh, oh. And it's like, oh, my God, <laughs> they're so obnoxious. Wow. But my uh-huh. thing is this. I always was told, your character, your gift will take you places. Your character won't keep you. What am I mean? What I mean by that, gentlemen? You could be a mean person before you got saved, and when you got saved, where did that mean and that person go? Right to church. Somebody. Okay, so therefore, these are areas that you know you have to humble yourself in. So therefore, it's a constant, daily dying. Before we even get into ministry, we got to get into ourselves and know these areas that we have to really put up under subjection. So I am careful when I'm getting in front of a crowd and all of that. If it's on a ministerial platform, I have to prep the crowd to show the power of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You understand? So so I spoke at a a, a, a Ivy League college and I I asked like 10 volunteers. I said, what do you what do you want to be when you grow up? When you want to be when you get out to school, when you get your degree, oh, I want to be an anesthesiologist. I want to be a doctor doing this, brain surgeon, and different aspects of the medical field or engineering and architectural. So, but yet it's a Christian school, right? So I said yes, many sir. times we get it we get it twisted when we are in these platforms of intelligence. So therefore the gospel or the identity becomes secondary. So you have those, and then I'll ask questions, how many of you know your gift? And no hands go up. A lot of hands don't go up. I said, really? You don't know your gift? So guess what, sir? You anesthesiologist, while you're washing and scrubbing, guess what? The person next to you need to hear the gospel. So guess what, y'all? You are a child of the earth. And then when you get your degree, then you're a doctor. Then you're that anesthesiologist. Because pride comes with these... Titles and I and I spoke on panels with many people with doctors, and I come from a basic principle that you be careful that you don't let the world taint your identity of who you are. Take that, sir. Say it. And that's how Christ draws men. When you put them <clears throat> first, not that you're a holy roller, but you bow down to that. I'm an anesthesiologist, but guess what? This is holy ground. So I don't know what this person is going through while we are operating on this individual. So it brings a different perspective of who you are. 
in the kingdom. And that's where the fight is. Because oh, the world will say, you know, this is who you are. You know, and in this country, you know, titles mean everything. And it comes mm. with this prestige, just like the Pharisees and the scribes. They thought Absolutely. having all of this riches meant divine you know, like he was really divine with all of his riches and all that. So that's why Christ, he flipped on them and came poor. Hallelujah. You see, they didn't even God. recognize that. Amen. So I'm not going to keep going and, pro- and, and, and you know, run no, here. So I'm going to be respectful of time, but I'm taking my time with this thing. So me Hallelujah. on a high platform, the first thing that God has given me when I came over was I had to relinqu I had to get rid of that title. Yes, sir. Of being this high producer because when when you're traveling like that, people feel like, oh wow, there he go, there he go. No, you could do the same thing that I've done. Don't put me on a high platform. Praise God. So amen. Praise God. Amen. Very well very well spoken, very, very eloquently spoken, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, amen, to Next Man Up, you just heard, amen, from uh, our special guest, platinum record producer, amen, um, the Dr. Kevin Rames, amen, and the question was asked, amen, to him, for those who are just tuning in, how do you present your ministry to stay grounded and humble to demonstrate that you are the salt of the earth. In other words, what do you want to be called? Audience participate with us tonight. Amen. Just, just, just someone just share with us. Amen. Who are you? What do you want to be called? What do you do? What are you giving back to society? Amen. Are you giving back a title? Are you giving back, amen, uh, self-pride? Talk with us tonight, amen. So we thank, amen, uh, Dr. Rames, amen, for that powerful opening, amen, on what do you want to be called? Amen. He said, and he and I like the way he said that, Minister Ross. He said it was, it was with the love yeah. that he presented. It was in conversations. It was in his spirit to show a man who he is. And sometimes, I like the way he said this, sometimes we can turn people off, even by just your actions or, or what you are or what you're doing. In other words, he he's basically sharing with our listeners around the country on tonight to get into yourself. Who are you? What are you really about? Amen. In other words, how many of you know your gift? And here's the reality. The theological perspective behind that question is God has given us at least one gift, one gift. Amen. Now, it's up to us to use that gift. He's given, he's given some, many, multiple gifts. But you, you, you best believe in that predestined wound or that preordained wound for being the salt of the earth, he's given you one gift. And it's up to us to use that gift appropriately. Amen. I'm going to continue to, amen, to this dialogue. Amen. Share this file, ladies and gentlemen. Share this file. Amen. Send this to at least six or seven of your ministry circle. It's going to bless them. Minister John Ross, amen, uh, host, amen. Let's talk to the Lord. He's with us tonight. Amen. 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 One of our previous moderators as well. We thank him for being with us on tonight. Amen. Uh, sir, amen. Open up to, with us tonight, amen, as you see Jesus was teaching here on the salt of the earth. He just got out of a, a revival, Minister John Ross. Come on, amen, on the Beatitudes. And he was wanting, he wanted to keep his disciples grounded. This is really where he was going with this. Amen. When he was letting them know about the ceremonial laws, amen, and the moral laws and the civil laws, which we are going to discuss more of on tonight. How do we as leaders present our ministries to stay grounded and humble? Minister Ross, share that with us to, to remind them that we are the salt of the earth and we should by no way lose our flavor. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Minister Perfecto, we're coming right to you, sir. Amen. Minister John Ross, can you share that with us? Dr. Kelly, the word God gave me last week fits right in with Brandon's commentary for this week and the question yes, that sir. you're asking about being seasoned and being the salt of the earth. Come on, God. Understand, some find it difficult to be meek mm. in today's society, and I Come found on. among the reference scriptures that Brandon left us, 
in Psalms, the 37th chapter, declaring that we fret not ourselves because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither like the green herb. And meekness is a difficult fruit to possess and make active because it's difficult for our egos to take the lower road, especially when the other person is wrong and, and they are the aggressor and they are the liar and they are the one who is trying to administer the whoop down on you and you are innocent. You hadn't done anything to them. But Satan has a demonic spirit assigned to their mind and heart. And to add to that fire, Dr. Kelly, they, they have a position. And a title. They they mm. have a better income. They have more money. And people recognize them as a person of statute that would not hurt nor harm anyone. And now God commands meekness from mm. you and to us. And we are thinking, God, are you serious? They are the adversary. Understand, to us being meek means we have to have the beat down and we have to be humiliated and suffer at the hands of this person. But that is the place, Dr. Kelly, where God is yes, saying sir. to us, come, come closer, come closer to me in the relationship so that you can seek and other options that will gain us the innocent party in the situation, the victory. We must understand point A, that they will say to you, yes, you must allow me to triumph over you because in their mind, they have a good reason for the cause of their actions. However, that's not the purpose for the fruit of meekness. In verse 2, where it said, Hallelujah, over in verse 2, where it says, yes, For sir. they shall soon be cut down like the grass and withered like the green herb. Understand that that verse is their end if they don't repent. However, mm -hmm. God would prefer their repentance willingly. Now, nine times out of ten, that doesn't happen. But because hell can be a very long time or eternity, many times we feel like probably mm -hmm. they deserve some time in hell too. However, the purpose for meekness is for us through our relationship with God through Jesus Christ to realize though this is a difficult experience, God is teaching us that it's not God's will for us to endure the beatdown. Yes, Jesus suffered brutality to redeem us. However, the price he paid, we cannot repay, but through our salvation, obedience, and holiness. The question is, is God requiring that from us? In every situation, no. However, there may be some who may have to suffer in that same sort of way, but God's desire is for them to turn from their wickedness. But the miracle is when God shows us God's better way, and we obey and receive our miracle in a way that we receive it according to God's will for us in the spirit of meekness and without waiting for the opposition to fall. Hallelujah. In the spirit of meekness, you've heard yeah. that from Minister John Rawls. John Rawls has a very unique and profound way, Hallelujah. ladies and gentlemen, to share with God's words, amen, on displaying that salt, displaying yes. that flavor, displaying, displaying that meekness. I like that, sir, amen. And you, you started off, sir, very, 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 very uh, sharp, very, I, I like that, too. You said some find it difficult to, to uh, be meek and humble. In other yeah. words, to show, to show their salt and flavor. And then you, you went right into backing that up with Scripture. Fret not thyself of evildoers, amen, for they should be cut down. In other words, we don't have to be afraid. I like that, Mr. Mister Ross. I like that. I love that, amen. Those who don't want to have that flavor, nation, what he's saying, if you don't want to have God's flavor, if you don't want to have that salt, amen, he's going to cut you down. That's that's yeah. the word now, unless they tore it out the book. 
Amen. Everybody wants to be called something. Amen. And we're and we're talking on tonight, nation. It's a dangerous thing in doctrine or practice. And Mr. Miguel Perfecto is getting ready to chime in on it. It's a dangerous thing to practice doctrine or disregard intentionally the commandments or to be obeyed as explained as Jesus was explaining this in Matthew 5 and 17. Mr. Perfecto, amen. I want you to slide. Just come on in here. Amen. How do you show how 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 do you show? Or how do you present your ministries in today's in this society? I know it's difficult sometimes, amen, just to stay grounded. In other words, so, some folks want to be called this and that. Some people want to be this and that, amen, sir. So how do you present your ministry to stay grounded and humble, to demonstrate to not only your family, but to distrim- dem- demonstrate to this culture? And, and, and it's tough out there, amen, to show your salt, your spiritual salt. Hey man, some mm-hmm. folk can be over salty. Come on, I'm gonna leave it right there. Come too on, salty. Miguel. Too salty. <laughs> too salty. It's too salty. It's too salty, man. <laughs> too salty. Yeah, I can't even, I can't even enjoy it. It's too salty. John Rose just said that. Like, I, I like hot. I like hot sauce, but if you put too much, uh-uh. I can't enjoy it no more. You know, it's just that. burning Run me up. That. I can't do you, it. <laughs> next man up, hey man, ladies and gentlemen, hey man, Miguel Perfecto, take that, sir. You have the floor, sir. You know, man, it, you know, what it's funny is um, such a big turnoff for me as I grew up young in the faith. Um, and, you know, and many of you know already my testimony of how I got saved during a 15 year prison sentence and mm. uh, how Jesus visited me in a prison cell. And I learned Christ in that environment. <clears throat> Um, and one thing that I'm so grateful of learning Jesus in a prison environment is that when we talk about titles, because I'm hearing titles mentioned, because see, some of us want to be called our title what you want so to be that we feel like we have a one up on somebody. Come on, so, right, right. One thing, one thing that, that, that I learned through Christ being incarcerated we're all in the same boat wearing the same raggedy state issue clothing that the state gives to us. Mm. So we have no room to say, I'm Dr. So-and-so I'm prophet. So-and-so I'm pastor. So-and-so I'm a a theologian. So-and-so that (laughs) stuff, you have no room to Mm. brag about anything like that because we're in the same ship. Mm -hmm. Amen. And and so, we didn't grow up in the faith with the glitz and glam of the church building and titles and, and the fashion show. Mm-hmm. We didn't grow up that way. Not We, we just learned Jesus. Yeah. We just learned what he said through his word. And we didn't have um, uh, uh, necessarily a, a program where we can get a doctrine in divinity or theology or, theology we have the holy spirit who wow. raised us up from amongst the people and anointed us and ordained us himself with not titles but gifts come on so we we were accustomed i'm accustomed to introducing myself as a broken vessel that jesus has to restore on a daily basis mm-hmm. that i have a scar and i want you to see it My because Lord. see it's a reminder of what Jesus brought me out of. Come on. Me personally, I don't care if somebody brings up my past because if you don't know the bad news, you can't Come appreciate on. the good news. news. All right. you, you can't appreciate the good without seeing the bad too. Because when you see the bad, you can appreciate and know that God must be real. If he can take a, a thugged out gangster yes, who's robbing people and who's causing damage to society and families. And he can turn you around and make you look like somebody who's in a prison environment and other inmates are looking at you like, how did you get here? Wow. You don't even seem like you belong here. (laughs) Amen. Now that is the power of God, my friends. That, you mm. you have to have something ugly about you. Now we know that God doesn't see us as that. We know that. 
We know that we have been redeemed. We are a new creature. All things have become new. We mm. know that. Now, that's an identity thing yes, so sir. that the devil doesn't fool us in thinking we're stuck in the past. Now, that's for us. But for the world, it's okay. Look at what I've been through. Mm. Pull me up. Google me. Yeah, that's... you'll find you'll find my affidavit in there. You'll find wow. you'll find the discovery. You'll find the story of what I did. Amen. Mm, 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 but mm. thank God, thanks be to Christ. Amen. I'm a whole yeah. new cat now. And <laughs> then, see, I'm 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 who I'm supposed to be now. That dude that yeah. was high, drinking Hennessy and robbing people and, and spitting go- gangster rap, that wasn't what I was supposed to be. That was a distorted image of what God made me to be. Amen? So, so, so now, when I talk to people and I present myself, I don't present myself as pastor so-and-so, prophet so-and-so, hip-hop artist so-and-so. I'm just like, yo, bro, I'm just like you, man. Just here to tell you that Jesus loves you. If he could save me, he could save you. And I try to bring myself, like Paul said, I've become all things unto all men that I might win some unto Jesus. So if, if, if you're a kid from the suburbs or whether you're somebody from the hood, guess what? I can adapt to any part and any kind of people that I need to because God wants to save them. So wow. I present myself wow. as a way... Like my brother was saying, meekness. Meekness is a weakness, by the way. Amen. There is great strength in in meekness. Mm. Amen. Jesus was very Uh, meek, but he had great strength. Amen. He is the power of God demonstrated to us. So I can be meek, but I can be strong too. So it doesn't matter where I'm at. You know, God has made me versatile in this thing because in a prison environment, I'm around nations of people that are represented there. Amen. Amen. Everybody is in the, it could be blacks, whites, natives, Mexicans, Asians. Every sick is all in one bowl. Mm, Amen. My Lord. So going Amen, up doctor. 15 years into that, doctor, Ooh. God, I think, I think God has taught me a, a little bit <laughs> of how to deal with, with various people. Amen. With, 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 various, with various backgrounds. Amen. So, yes, so, sir. So, so, doctor, I just, I just want to um, yes, always present love, my brother Brandon. That that you can't even reach people without love. Say so that. It ain't, if love isn't your driving force, yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. You wow. Can't wow. Even begin to move in ministry. You shouldn't mm, yes. have a ministry if you don't love no, people. No. And guess what? It ain't going to be lip service neither. It ain't going to be a bunch of fancy talk. Because, Pastor, unfortunately, I've met many people in the church that said they love me, but can't they stand behave. me. Talking they they about behavior me, don't show it, huh? <laughs> talking about me, he's an ex-felon. We'll never let him preach here. Uh, wow. We don't like Christian hip-hop here. Uh, they don't. He doesn't have a doctrine in theology. He's not mm. qualified to teach and lead the youth. He doesn't have a psychology degree about children who are wow. being abused. And then, listen, I don't have none of that, but I have the experience. Woo! Amen. Thank you, brother. And I know Thank I have you. the anointing of God. <laughs> I know wow. I have the word of God whose wisdom yes. excels Hallelujah. man's wisdom. So guess what? As long as I got the Holy Ghost, I can sit down and talk to a brain surgeon. I can sit down mm. and talk to a lawyer. I can sit down and talk to a representative from the White House. I can sit down and talk to anybody that God puts in my way because I have the wisdom of God. God will download supernatural. Not- Good gracious. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You, you've heard from you've heard from Miguel Perfecto. Praise God. He was giving us his his amen. analogy, amen, on uh, his humbleness. How do you stay humble and wanting to be called something, something? Who do you want to be called? That's what we're talking about tonight, amen. We are the salt of the earth, amen. Somebody out there said humility is true leadership. Mike Mike P. Fitzpatrick, amen. He's watching on tonight. Keith Martin, amen. We thank all of you all for tuning in tonight. Amen. Before we go to a song break, amen, we thank Mr. Perfecto, amen. I, I know he's still with us, amen. 
But I, I, I like what he was saying, amen, when he used the prison analogy, amen, uh, Dr. Rames, amen, and uh, Apostle John Rawls. He used the prison analogy, analogy yeah. of being everyone was dressed the same. Everybody is the same. We're talking about equal, and if we're going into that next subject matter, amen, everyone is the same. He said, but he found Jesus that gave him that power to be humble. Old things pass away, and all things become new. Jesus can save you. That's what he was talking about, love, amen, being humble. Amen. I want to pass our mic, amen, to our producer, praise God, amen, before we go to a quick song break, a quick song break, and we have some more powerful this subject matter, amen. But I would be in remiss, amen, to our listeners, amen, if we do not, uh, if we overlook our producer, amen, a powerful man of God, very anointed and meek man, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jerry Royce, amen, in his own way, amen, he can come and share with us, amen, about humbleness, amen. How do you stay grounded? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jerry Royce, live. Hey, hey. what's going on, family? And thank you, guys. Man, what what powerful commentary. And, and I want to thank my son, Brandon, for uh, putting the time into uh, writing uh, our, our daily commentary. And, and you guys can find on our webpage, too, because he writes this stuff pretty much every day. And, uh, and Doc, you, you, you see how it's flowing into, like, a series. So uh, we thank yes, him sir. for that so much. And thank you, Dr. Rames. I mean, Dr. Rames and the way Dr. Miguel put their humbleness right out there, man. You know, I was reading Brandon's um, The Bottom Line when he said – our desire should be that we should be called great, you know, for the kingdom, you know, because it's for the kingdom we serve. And I was, and I was watching people out there was writing that they want to be called servers, servants. And I know a lot of times I get a chance to compete in, in some of those um, Toastmaster competitions. And, 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 that's, and, that's, and I always I always go out there because I want to win. <laughs> I want to beat that champion. That's, that's always my goal. And. And it's and I feel like I'm not even sure if I'm the only Christian in the room, but if I am, I want to show up great, you know, because I'm serving him. And basically, all the stories I share in those speeches is always about how I'm serving my children, you know, because I want them to be great. I'm trying to give them everything I possibly can. And I, and, and and Doc, when you guys were talking about Dr. Rain specifically was talking about talent. Do you know what yes, your sir. your talent is? You know what are you good at? And and, and growing yeah. up, I kind of knew that, but of course, you know we didn't have the opportunities like we have now in the sixties and seventies. But it's not like I put it on the shelf. I kept homing yeah. in on it. I made it a hobby. Yeah. You know, I, I just made it a hobby because I knew one day God's gonna call my name. He's gonna call my number, and I'm gonna be the next man up. And 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 basically, <laughs> this platform we're sitting on right now. I've been I've been I've been practicing this all my life because I I told you before I was in the CB radio wow. I was in CB radio, mm-hmm. um and and I used to like talking and meeting people and I was in in the newspaper industry was in book publishing so I always love communications I always like uh, vehicles that connect people that were the same yeah. and sh- and sharing information and our talents and gifts so I I really respect what Dr. Rings was saying about about you know everybody at least had one gift. And I know you put that out there. That's it. And sometimes we we may not know what it is because we're so distracted because of all the noise. But 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 God has embedded everybody with at least one gift. And then once you start getting that one gift going, He start giving you more. You know, you start getting yes, favor. Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, ahead, yeah, thank, and, and Doc, thank you so much for uh, for moderating this platform, I'm, I'm Miguel. I hope oh, Miguel is back. You. He he was laying it out there yes. too. <laughs> yes, sir. We gave him a, we gave him a quick shout out. Yeah, that, that's yeah. powerful what you're saying, Doctor Jerry Royce. Can you dig a little deeper, sir? A man on uh, from the angle because you you you're there from that angle, sir, of using our gift, using that. You know, what do you want to be called? Who 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 are we? A man. You hit it. You hit it when you said when you were just a, when you were coming up. A man. You hit dead on it. You weren't really concerned. We weren't really concerned about a man, uh, what we answer to. Mm-hmm. Dr. Reigns, you, you, you all see where we're going with this? We didn't, we didn't answer to the neighborhood kids, a man, when they call us out of our name. Mm-hmm. We only answer to 
Sampson, Mr. Sampson, or, or, or Brother Reigns, or Mr. Rawls, amen, or Mr. Kelly. That was our name, amen. God gave us our names, Paul, amen. Mr. Jerry Rawls, before we go to a song break, Amen. You said something very profound, amen, in one of your interviews, amen. I think it was something along the line, sir, when you were sharing with us about your father. He was sharing something about uh, to you what's positive, what's positive. I, I can't say it the way you say it, sir. <laughs> amen. Yeah, yeah. Well, be- before before I crossed over to the Christian platform, and, and it, it was because of some, some, some music that I was listening to that entertain my spirit my holy spirit um my dad he was a he's a big fan of, of of my podcast i mean he loved the shows i mean we was mixing um jazz with gospel but i was interviewing street lit authors because what happened i had tapped into the author world years ago i had i had over five hundred thousand people listen to our shows from all over you know overseas and you know because they were in the author world but then as i kept diving getting deeper deeper into the author world um i was interviewing them and we was opening up other platforms like this but the conversations were starting to go in a different direction it was it was like i felt like men and women didn't know each other enough and i felt like the world was separating our, our, our gender and people was and because people are so confused who they are i felt like i had the power to change their mindset through radio so when we would start entering you know that that territory where men really want to know what what is on men on women mind sexually because we really don't know what women what they think and especially now because people are having issues trying to uh you know connect with the with their with their soul mate because you you can't say and do certain things on your job and most of that's you're around those people eight ten hours a day you know you're not you don't go you don't go to clubs you you don't have opportunity to meet people in church through fellowship because you don't know who belong to who so I thought it was in my power <laughs> to, to, to give people the information they need. And one day it went off track. And then my dad called me. I think he called me the next day. And, and he, t- he, 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 you know, I, w- I was ready for rebuttal. <laughs> my rebuttal. And he said, son, <laughs> yes, that, 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 that's not positive power. And I felt it right there when he said that that, that wasn't of God, wow. what he was telling me in his own way, you know. And, you know, it. It bothered me for a while. I, I could I could hear to this day, son, that that's that's not positive power. And I said, but dad, but men and women don't know each other, son. <laughs> that that's, that's not positive power. And then after that, <laughs> I was mm. I was I was you know that that was if I can't if I don't remember anything else that my father ever tell me, you know. I will remember those words, and 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 that's why you guys are together today, uh, Miguel and and, and Dr. Rames and, and and Dr. Ross and and Dr. Kelly, because of those words that my dad said to me that 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 morning, I believe it was, when he told me, you know. So, so and and that when, when you guys were talking about what we want to be called, yeah, you know. Hmm. And, and, you know and I know I, I, I was listening to Dr. Rain because he, he go into you go into a room you go you know sometimes you're gonna catch people off guard too because they're looking at you and they're trying to size you up anyway you know they already got the heads up <laughs> yeah, on who God. you are and they just wanna you know they wanna find out you know what are you going what are you gonna say about yourself you know are you gonna be humble or are you gonna just give it to them all and and sometimes you don't have to even say it sometimes you could just show it to them That's it. you know with, show Easy. show them favor you know that's all it is. You know, you, you, you humble that God bless you with that. And then when God gives you that name, whether he's going to call you doctor, cause I, I'm a minister, but I don't really say it. You know, I want somebody to look and say, Oh, that guy's, a, he's a man of God. I want them to tell me who I am. Man. And sure. so I never, you guys know, I don't come on and say this is Minister Jerry Royce of radio and all this stuff. Something about playing right on the Minister of the Radio <laughs> and of the Batman and late night talk radio. But that's, that's my, that's the character. You know, that's the brand, mm. you know, because I, I'm telling you guys, I'm a superhero because I want to fight. I want to fight the fight for those who can't fight the fight. I want to serve wow. those who can't serve themselves. You know, that's who I am. And then, you know, and I do have a, a side of me that's, that don't have any um, humility <laughs> and, and it gets out of control. But that's the one that's the defensive side. You got the offense and Amen. the defense. So um, I know I'm going all night on that subject. Maybe one day somebody Thank invite you, me man. to uh, speak to their kids. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. Hey, Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jerry Royce. Amen. We really appreciate that spirit. Amen. Positive power. 
you've opened up a platform, amen, for us to have a voice on the spiritual airways amen. to use that humility, to use that, sir, and that resonate, amen, to us, to people like your special guest on tonight. Uh, he didn't want to even be introduced as a, a gold platinum oh, no, producer. Oh, no. Dr. Kevin Rains is here mm-hmm. with us. Yeah. Amen. Artist, producer, songwriter, Miguel Perfecto. Amen. Didn't really want to use those titles, amen, uh, and host a multi-award winner and let's talk to the Lord podcast. Amen. <laughs> Apostle John Ross, a man of many gifts. Amen. And Brandon Sampson, amen, couldn't be with us tonight. Amen. He, he, he's a talented and gifted young man oh, himself. Yeah. Amen. Uh, uh, LUSU apparel, see you with that. Amen. And, and also, he's very instrumental and presenting this commentary, so they are they are very humble men of God, amen. amen. And they know where God has placed them, amen. As as their salts, amen. Mm. So we thank we thank them. We're gonna take a quick song break, and we have we have we're gonna close out this powerful commentary on tonight when we come back. Really awesome, 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 powerful spiritual information that's gonna not only bless, amen, us but our listening audience, amen. So we thank everyone for tuning in, amen. Paula G, Shea Sams, they are coming up, praise God. On the other side of the song break, amen, we're going to finish this powerful commentary, amen. Stay right where you are, amen. amen. We'll be right back after the song Amen, that's right. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to listen to one from uh, Miguel Perfecto. This is called Ready to Do It, and then we're going to end the show on Remember Now Thou Created by John E. Ross, the award-winning uh, artist. Here we go. Ooh. Sheepfold music. Ain't you just tired of being sick and tired? Got you sitting there just warming up them pews. Knowing you got a call on your life. Knowing you've been elected. I'm ready to do it. See, that's what that religion will have you do, man. Sitting around stuck. I'm yeah. ready to do You know, waiting for some man to validate you and give you the green light. Huh, yo. They say I'm strange, I'm different, but my name ain't two chains, I'm a saint, Come on. I'm saved, sanctified for a new game, a new lane, translated, I'm a foreigner, don't they know that old man is dead, Hard the coroner, tell him bring your body back, Cadillac, her spot the back, load him up, shut the door, and I don't even care where you dump him at, you was good, only Jesus, the savior, the okay. beginning, the end, the alpha, the omega, yeah, yeah that's I'm bought with a price, you better believe I'ma go hard yeah. You carry that cross, suffer the loss So you can bet with a few scars This life's hard uh-huh. And we gon' need the Lord to see us through oh, yeah. Let me just remind you That the devil wants to sift you oh, yeah. Like wheat and kill you kill. He don't wanna see you free no, But you can't tuck tail Resist him and he will flee Watch him run. Let that soak in Stand in the faith and hold him Never look back like a rear view And he'll steer you where there's no sin Do it Shoes. Yeah, taking up that shield of faith, quenching all the fiery darts that the wicked pop off like a top cap of a soda pop. Oh yeah, I got this helmet on my dome piece. It'll save me when my mind tries to play them tricks on me. Cause that ghetto boy wants to play with ghetto toys. But that's when things get funny, sort of like my buddy Roy. Back to the script now. I'ma show you dudes how we fight now. We take that sweat of the spirit, which is the word of God that he kicked down. So that's how.
I'm here, Prozive Power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Welcome back to Positive Power Worldwide Christian Media right here on Jerry Royce Live, amen. We're uh, here, amen, on a powerful panel on Next Man Up. I am your host, Dr. Paul Kelly, amen. We're getting ready to close this powerful show out, amen, uh, with our guests, with the special guest, amen, uh, gold platinum record producer, Dr. Kevin Rames, amen. I feel him as my dear brother, artist, producer, Another brother of mine, songwriter Miguel Perfecto, amen. Another dear brother of mine, host of Let's Talk to the Lord, amen. Podcaster, amen. Talk your host, amen. Apostle John Ross. Gentlemen, we thank you all for being with us, amen. We're going to close this out. We're going to go right to, amen, uh, uh, Brother Rames, amen. Dr. Kevin Rames, amen. Doctor, amen. I want you all to kind of uh, feel this in your spirit, amen, and also our listening audience out there by Facebook and around the country, amen. We 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 are we are representing a nation, amen, of people that God has blessed us with. We talk about the believers, but time has changed radically, amen. This last point, amen, that's relevant to the subject, this powerful subject matter. What do you want to be called? is moral living, moral living. The civil law back in the Bible day was applied to daily living. We talk about civil law, you know, the criminal justice law, police, amen, all that. All that was different in the biblical days. Ladies and gentlemen, nation, I want you all to listen to this because this particular subject matter is going to resonate to top leaders. Civil laws in the Bible days were applied to daily living in the days of Israel. And also ceremonial laws were applied to praise and worship. And you can find that a little more in over in Leviticus around the first chapter. And that in that commentary, amen, it will share with you why these laws were set. Gentlemen, because today's time has radically changed since then, our ancestors has been through slavery. Amen. We have voter suppression, amen, laws that are trying to be enforced. Just look around us. We have some, notice I'm using this as a disclaimer, some police, illegal police brutality, some. We have powerful police around the country, but we still have some illegal police brutality that's trying to, amen, to enforce civil laws illegally. Unfair incarceration and prison sentences. Here's where I'm going with this. The civil laws in the Bible days, in the ceremonial laws, amen, to display godly living, these were moral principles behind the civil laws, Dr. Rhymes. There were moral principles, and they still should be applied today and fulfilled. The ceremony, we're talking about praise and worship. Hey man, we 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 can go to church, we can go in our home, we can go in our civic places, amen, and have praise and worship and still be civil. Amen. And these commands, amen, are priceless. These these in, in the Bible they they're priceless and they still are. Amen. And they should guide our conduct. Here we go. Here we go nations. Here we go Facebook. Here we go right now. Here we go live. What are some ways, amen, I'm coming to you, doctor. What are some ways that we as spiritual leaders, mentors, motivators can peacefully demonstrate and inspire this culture to date and let them know that we are created in God's image? In other words, God, I've said it earlier, God has given each and one of us a gift one after another. This right now, Dr. Rhymes, could be an opportunity to make a difference, a man in this culture, sir. What are some of what are some of our what what what, what ways can today we can peacefully 
demonstrate and inspire this culture that we are created in all. We created in God's image. Amen. We're all created Amen. equal. This is your flow, sir. Hey, right. man, give us, we, we're almost out of time, but just give me a okay. minute. Give me at least a minute so I can go ahead and get to John, amen, and Mr. Perfecto, because we've got another show coming up. Sir, I know you can get a, a, a two, one or two in there, sir. Go ahead, sir. Okay. I'm going to say this real quick. Yes, sir. I, have, I, I cannot escape my relation to Tupac, Biggie, and Nas, right? So my thing is I relate to Paul. When he said, I become all things to all men. Yes, now, I was groomed by Bishop Bell, Bishop Bell in Harlem, New York, and he told me, he said, you have to impact people. I didn't understand that. Now, I got a train coming by. Let me, forgive me, y'all, if y'all hear this noise. Hey, man, while, while that train is passing through. Hey, I'm sorry. Bishop Bell taught me how to love, not my love. Not the love. I used to be his armor bearer, and I had to baptize a homeless man. Mm. I mean, the stench was terrible, but I had to really, I'm sorry. Amen. I know where he's going with this. Amen. This is powerful. I had to baptize this man. Come on. Not because of his stench, but the, the, mm. the hunger and thirst. Yes. Christ. So when we are operating in this world, here, here's my thing. Put some zeros behind your name. Put millions of dollars behind your name and then come talk to me to see how you are in mode. Because I want to teach a class called Mode, Moments of Delayed Excellence. Now, we can talk a lot of talk. Now, the number one competition to God is money. Mammon, you can't serve two masters. Rich man came to Christ and said, hey, Lord, I, I obeyed the commandments. He said, go sell all you have and give to the poor. He didn't want the man to become broke. He wanted him to detach himself from that spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when we talk about meekness, sometimes some of us could really talk a good talk. Oh, but let somebody say, hey, I'm writing you a check for a million dollars. Are you still going to be meek? Are you still going to be the same person? Mm-hmm. When I turned away, y'all, I turned away. I became broke. A Tupac producer broke. Records and music that's inducted in the Hall of Fame became broke. But mm. I tell you this, y'all. I tell you this. It's nothing like when somebody would say, bro, with tears in his eyes, I see God in you, man. Please pray with me. Heaven rejoices for a soul. We have to be kingdom-minded, man. So I have no problem standing in front of thousands or millions of people to let them know it was Jesus Christ who saved me, man. This is not righteousness because if it was up to me, I would be back doing my thing, man. So I'm a realist. I'm real with it. So I have to become all things to all men. And that's the love of Christ, not my love. Because if it was up to me, I'd be like, yo, get away from me, man. But I had to study and show myself approved with God's word on how to apply it. And that's the greatest challenge is to apply scripture in daily living. Yeah. So when we are out here, you have, unfortunately, you have those in church that's just all about titles because they, they have an identity crisis. They don't have nothing going on in the world. I don't know why pastors. Wow. Wow. Amen. He said he became broke, a man multi, a man platinum producer, a man of Tupac and Biggie Small. He said he became broke, a man, Dr. Rames, to give back, a man, his humility, his humble, his salt, a man. He, he became broke to give that love back, that spirit to applying Christian, a man, application to his daily living my God, amen. We thank God for him, amen. Dr. John Ross, amen. Give us a minute, sir, amen, to give us yeah. your words, amen. And I'm not sure if, amen, if Mr. Miguel is still with us, producer. I'm not sure. If he's not, amen, John Ross, please just go ahead and uh, just close us out in prayer. Amen. Give us some final thoughts on that, amen. What are some of your ways, amen, as a spiritual leader, mentor, amen, even as a motivator that we can 
peacefully demonstrate and inspire to this culture, and which we're living in today, Mr. John Ross, that we all created in God's image, amen, in your own way, sir. Yes, Kingdom, I want to leave you with a little working definition for the listening audience, just in case you missed the last episode where it says that the spirit of meekness is mildness, gentleness of spirit, and humility and humbleness, meaning uh, humility toward God and society. It's an adjective that means that even when you have the right and the power in a situation, you refrain for the well-being of the other person. Understand, God Mm. can lead you around those other people who are wicked, who are filled with wickedness. If, if, If they face judgment, Dr. Kelly, it's because they won't repent. That's between, and that's between them and God. But you are not the cause as one fighting back, and they are injured. That's what it means not to cause damage to them. For example, let's say that they are spreading rumors about you, and and you for revenge, you spread one back about them. But from the spirit of meekness, God can make their rumors come to naught and have no effect upon you, and you can yet gain in spite of. Now, I'm not saying that they shouldn't be sued, but allow God to decide your course of actions and not our flesh. That's the meekness that Jesus is talking about in today's society, because in some cases, God can use the justice system to purify bad conduct, but we must we must step back and let God and the Holy Spirit make that decision and not our heated responses. Thank you. Wow. Powerful, powerful, powerful Johnny Ross. Thank you, amen. We don't have to fight back. God leads us around wickedness. With the spirit of meekness, God can and will protect us, amen, as we stand up in this this culture today to let them realize, let people realize, to let the world know that we're created in God's image. What do you want to be called? Amen. Mr. Miguel Perfecto, you still with us, sir? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We got a producer, Mr. Jerry Royce. I want to be obedient to our producer. Yes, sir. sir. We still have time, sir? Yeah, we, we, we're done at 1130, so you got a couple more minutes. Okay. Amen. Amen, sir. Praise God. Amen. See, obedience is better to be obedient than sacrifice, gentlemen. Amen. Although he is the CEO, we still have to respect him. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. That's meekness. Praise God. Mr. Miguel, we have about a minute, sir. Amen. Kind of share with us. We was ending this topic on what are some of the ways, amen, we as spiritual leaders and mentors and motivators can peacefully demonstrate and inspire in this culture, sir, in which we are living today. Amen. I'm reminded, amen, reminded that, amen, the, uh, of the old true creed that we're all created, amen, equal. We're all one, amen. We're all created in God's image, amen. And he's given us, each one of us, one gift after another. What, what people want to be called something. I don't, I don't know what they want to be called, but this is our opportunity to make a difference, amen. What are some of the ways that we can give back peacefully? doctor, amen, to demonstrate and inspire in this, this culture that we all created in God's image. Just, you know, in your own spirit, sir. You know, I, f- I find that a lot of it has to be done, you know, in 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 your surroundings, you know, because sometimes, you know, we want to reach nations, but we won't even reach our neighbor, you mm. know, and a lot wow. of the times, you know, we, we got people right, right next to us, you know, <laughs> that, that uh, you know, We'll pack a bag to Africa or Mexico, but we won't even talk to the people coming out from up, from upstairs, you know? Teach us, mm. teach us. I mean, um, and so my, what I've been just given to do is I, I reach people anywhere, anywhere I go, whether it be a 7-Eleven, whether it be a church atmosphere, whether it be a concert. You know, uh, God in yes. me is more than able. You know, we have to have the confidence that God in us, God in us is more than able. And sometimes, man, it's going to start from dealing with just the groundwork. It could be an individual. It could be one person. You know, you reach one, you know, you can multiply, you know, thousands just in, just in reaching one yeah. person. 
You know, mm. so sometimes, you know, we, we, we miss the forest for the, you know, we miss, the, what, how, how's that saying go? We miss the forest for the trees or something like that. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> yeah. And so, like, you know, we, we got we, we to gotta think big, and yes, we got to have a, a big goal in our lives, but let, the way to reach that is, is starting with what you have. You can't despise small beginnings. You know, yeah, because man. a lot of the things start small. And so I'm just trying to reach people in my neighborhood. I'm trying to reach people that are on the corner. I'm just trying to reach anybody that God puts in my way, you know. And through that, it can inspire more peaceful people in this yes. world. Amen. Mm-hmm. Because the peace of God will be in their hearts now. So wherever wherever yeah. they, they stand up for, you know, because God is a God of righteousness. It's okay for us to protest. But when God protests, he makes sense. He wants us to reason together. Amen. So we can't be out here erratic and out of control because then we look like religious nuts. And that's the thing I try to avoid. Don't don't put me in a religious nut category. This thing makes sense. So yes, sir. One, one person at a time, that's how I look at it. And, and if God wants it bigger, trust me, he's responsible to provide that way. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard him, amen. Miguel Perfecto artist, prevail, uh, Miguel Perfecto, amen. What are some ways hey, we're closing this out, amen? Amen. We as amen. leaders and mentors and motivators can peacefully demonstrate and inspire in this culture in which we live in. We all created in God's image, ladies and gentlemen, around the country. And God has given each one of us a gift, one after another. This is our opportunity to make a difference, amen. We're starting right here on Next Man Up, amen, to make a difference in society, amen. We want to reach the nation, but we can't talk to our neighbors. Miguel Perfecto, start at home. John Ross, amen. He said, amen. God can lead you around wickedness. We don't, we don't have to fight back. Amen. The spirit of meekness, God can and will protect us. Amen. Platinum record producer, Dr. Kevin Ram, special on, on tonight. Amen. He said all he, – he gave his life, amen, after sacrificing with producers, amen, such as Tupac, amen, and Biggie. But he said he became broke to give back, amen, humility. But he gained richness. I want to leave with you all tonight, amen, on what do you want to be called? What do you, who, who, who do you really want to be called? Be careful of those opportunities. Sometimes provocation or provocation, listen to this, sometimes when those opportunities come up, what you want to be called, listen to this very carefully, sometimes the provocation or response to a conflict or an opportunity John Ross just said it, amen. Look out for weakness, amen. People are watching you. So be careful of some opportunities. Sometimes the provocation or the response to conflict is not to fight. Not all opportunities are not to be taken. Why? Because they may be a trap. It may not be for you. That opportunity or that person, listen now. That person or that opportunity may be deceiving you. Remember, we are the salt of the earth. We must have a discerning spirit. A person can be deceiving, or the opportunity may be deceiving or attractive. One may be determined to destroy you, amen, by by them trying to persuade you to look at their opportunity just for a title or just to be called something. And they will be, they will, they, that person who is doing that, listen now, they may be spiritually blind. Most, most likely they are. They will be blind, amen, to end up trying to destroy you. And here's why, amen. I'm going to use the analogy of a vicious wolf or dog, that wolf or vicious dog that's trying to attack its prey, which just happened to be an eagle or a bird, amen. However, the bird is nestled in its nest, unfamiliar to this vicious wolf or this vicious dog, a man who's trying to destroy the bird or the eagle that is nestling, that is nestling in his own nest. The wolf is unfamiliar with the bird or the eagle's territory that's on a tree limb on a deep cliff. I hope y'all caught that. On a deep cliff, a man, the, the limb is hanging on a, lift, uh, on a cliff, but it looks as if there's land behind it. However, the vicious wolf 
a man who is determined to attack this eagle who is nestling again on the tree limb high above this cliff, a man that appears to be on law, on, on a level ground, unfamiliar to this vicious wolf, a man. As the wolf gets closer, in other words, this little opportunity, as he gets closer to try to destroy this eagle that's nesting, a man, as he gets closer, the, 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 uh, the eagle has already observed this vicious wolf. And as the wolf tries to sneak and his opportunity as he tries to sneak and attack this eagle. This eagle flaps his mighty wings, amen, simultaneously as the wolf jumps to that limb, amen, to try to kill this eagle who can fly high, amen. As he jumps, the eagle he flies at the same time, but the vicious wolf leaps to his death. Be careful. Be careful of your provocation. Be careful how you respond. Be careful on what you want to be called. Not all opportunities are to be taken. I am your host on tonight, Dr. Paul Kelly. Hey, man, thank you for being with us on Next Man Up. We thank our, our awesome anointed guest, hey, man, gold, platinum, record producer, hey, man, Dr. Kevin Rames, artist, producer, songwriter, McGill Perfect, hey, man, host of Let's Talk to the Lord. Amen. My brother, Apostle John Ross. Amen. And he couldn't be with us on tonight. Amen. CEO, LUSU Apparels, Brandon Sampson. Amen. Responsible for this powerful commentary. Amen. So whom God has blessed him. Amen. To share with us. Amen. And also, amen, our past show host. Amen. Our past moderator. Amen. Uh, who assisted us. A uh, host of fire. John, amen, I'm sorry, Ron Jefferson, and also a previous moderator, he's with us tonight, amen, who shared as moderator, Ron Jefferson, praise God. So we thank you, stay right where you are, amen, we got a powerful show coming up, Late Night with Jerry Royce, amen, apology, and we're going to get some more of this tonight, amen, amen, at midnight, amen, with Chanel, my Lord, Patrice Jackson, amen, amen, and the host of that is Jay Sam's. I am your host, Dr. Paul Kelly. God bless you, and God bless this nation. John Ross, take us out in prayer. Amen. We will, Mr. Perfecto, are you with us? Sorry about hey, that, Doc. I had, Lord, I had John on me. You. Sorry, John. Start over. I had you on me. My bad. Lord, That's we all. thank you for this next man up summit. Lord, we thank you for how you brought us together. Lord, we ask you to season us, Lord. Lord, we ask you yes. to create in us a, a pure heart, O oh Lord, and yes. create in us your fruitfulness so that we may be pleasing to you, Lord. Help us to make difference to make a difference in today's society. Help us to make better choices, Lord, by following the blueprint of your word. Through Jesus Christ, we pray. Lord, we ask you to bless Dr. Rames, Brother Miguel. Lord, we ask you to look on Dr. Dr. Jerry Royce, God, and bless Dr. Kelly, God. We ask you to keep us together as one, standing united in Jesus Christ. God, we give you the glory. Hallelujah. We give you the praise and we give you the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.
years come night, though all the years drop night, and thou shall have no pleasure in thee. Jesus is calling while you're young, he is soon to come, it's never too late, but you're giving it life today. Won't you All right, what's up, family? What's up? What's up? Welcome, welcome to Late Night with Jervis Live Worldwide. You just heard Next Man Up with Dr. Paul Kelly and friends. All right, next up is Dr. Dr. Paula G. We're gonna call it tonight, and we got a, a UK talk show host. He called himself Tush Shuggy. He's gonna be here. He's gonna hang out with Paula G. So hang on, y'all. Let's get our praise on. Can you feel the power? Feel the power. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, here we go. Dear Father, please help us to rest in your happiness, to allow a smile to linger on our lips, to dwell with a wonderful memory, to walk back through sunlit places. Please help us to wake with hope, to engage with life in all variety, to take in the beauty of others' joys, to test the souls of those we meet with thankfulness. Please help us to sing with faith, to carry the truth close to our heart always, to rejoice in a new life, and to have people as we age. Please help us to indulge in love, to breathe in the sweetness of intimacy, taste the kindness of friendship, to feel the warmth of embrace. Please help us not to miss a single drop of heaven, to catch each moment and drink in the great joy of life. Amen. And welcome everybody to Positive Power Double XI. You catch the show on Spotify, iTunes, iHeart, and Spreaker Radio. If you're listening to us right now on Facebook Live, thank you so much. Please share this file. You're going to be in for a real treat. All right, y'all. Let me not hold them much longer. Here we go. You're listening to Jules Worldwide Podcast. Hey, hey, hey. My name is Davis, and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry Watts Live Worldwide. That's right. You tell them, Davidson. What's up, Paula G, the voice? What's going on? Hey, hey, what's going on? How are you? Hey, family. Oh, well. Feel the power. Hey, man. <laughs> and now special guest is here from the UK. What's going on, Mr. Tush? What's up, my brother? Shaggy, Shaggy Tosh. How you doing, Shaggy? How you doing, Jerry? Hey, hey. I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you for having me. Such a honor. Oh, it's a it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, sir. This is Shuggy. So tell us, man, yeah. what should we call you, man? Do we call you Tush Tush or Chuggy? What you, is it? You can just feel free. You can call me whatever you want to call me, man. Just feel free. Uh, we call you CEO <laughs> then. The of the Lord is, That's me. right. CEO, my man. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome, brother. Welcome to the show. I'm going to take a back seat and Paula's going to go ahead and interview you. If you're going to hang around, we do have another show that comes right behind us. And I sent you the, uh, the topic, so feel free to hang out with us, okay? 10 4. Okay. Amen. Okay, thank you. Thank all you right. Much. All right. Yours, Paula G. All right. All right. Well, we are so uh, we are so pleased and so excited to have uh, this gentleman who hey, he's born and raised, I believe, in Birmingham, 
not Alabama, ladies and gentlemen, but Birmingham, <laughs> the UK, the United Kingdom. Yeah, he's yeah, a rapper. Yeah. He's a publisher. Yes, he's a producer, author, and he is an on-air personality in the UK, Mr. Shoggy Tosh. How are you, sir? I, I am great, as I said earlier. You know, it's such a honor to, to be on this wonderful <laughs> show um, with, with yourself, uh, Paula G., and also with um, uh, Jerry Royce, um, I checked a little bit about, about you guys and I know that you guys are rocking, you're popping the gospel through, uh, you know, different avenues, music, interviews, you, you're all over the place. And for you all over the me place. On, I feel so, yeah, I feel so humbled. And, I feel so and we're in, and oh, we're, and we're, and right now we're, right now we're in the come, UK and I, and I, and I need to let the audience know. The audience needs to to to, to know also just how powerful this is, because it is about eleven or no, it is about four forty in the morning in London. So this gentleman has been up, had to get up, probably had to set an alarm or something <laughs> to no, get I up. Because uh, I didn't want to risk it, so I had to just kind of stay stay awake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you you tell us tell the audience a bit about yourself before we get into the music because you um, you studied civil engineering. Um, you've been a manager at one of my favorite stores when I come to the UK Tesco. Oh, Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So tell t- share with the audience a bit about who Shaggy Tosh is. Um, yeah, as you did say, I, I, I was born in Birmingham, you know, Alabama. Uh, I hope to visit uh, the Birmingham, in Alabama, uh, you know, hopefully <laughs> one of these days. Yeah. Um, but um, I, I went back to Africa with my parents and Nigeria, to be precise, um, when I was six years old. And um, I came back to the UK when I was 22, so I spent 16 years in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. And um, the, the things were a little bit tough when we went back home. Um, the economy was, like, getting worse if I can put it that way and um it was it was hard to to um you know eat and live and, and do yeah. all the things that we not we could do whilst we were in the UK. Um and I was a very naughty child growing up so um <laughs> I uh run out of the house, you know, for three days, yeah. sleep on the streets, you know, I went through all that because I, I believe that a lot of times when God has a plan for you, um the yeah. enemy also sees that, you know, he tries to attack and tries to like, you know, mess you up and um I just really thank God that even over the years, even though when I was still um, doing my thing, Jesus was patient, mm-hmm. you know, with me and mm-hmm. he kept me going. Um, but whilst I was in Nigeria, um, I studied um, civil engineering. Not mm-hmm. that I really wanted to study that, um, but um, at times as African kids, you do have this orientation where your parents want to be an engineer or a doctor by all yeah. costs, <laughs> even if that's what you want to do. <laughs> yeah. Regardless. You know, <laughs> Yeah, regardless, yeah, or else you're gonna be you're gonna be sent out of the house if I can put it that way. Right, but, um, <laughs> disowned. Yeah when, I, yeah, when I came back to the UK, um, um, my father and the Lord, my spiritual dad, um, who um, um, had a meeting, you know, in 2006 uh, in Johannesburg, in South Africa, um, he just told me and he said, um, "Shoggy, I know that you want to be an engineer. I know that you want to do this and do that." Um, by that time, I came back to the UK. I, I studied computer aided engineering. I studied um, engineering product design. But I'm saying all this like because it's like a testimony, either testimony to anyone listening or anyone watching that um mm-hmm. once you have God in your corner, you can do anything. You know, the word of God says yeah. with God, all things are possible. Um, you know, because it's so important that you do what God has called you to do, what you've been destined to do, or else you could do yeah. another man's job. Um so he said, you know, God wants you in the area of media. And I used to look down on I used to call them journals, like, you know, people, I don't know, interviewing or people, uh, you know, on the magazine or whatever, you know. That orientation right. is kind of like, you know, you've got to be a doctor, you've got to be an engineer, you, you cannot afford to be a journalist and stuff like that. But knowing um, him as a man of God, I knew that God was speaking through him. And he, he told me that, you know, um, God will give me a sign when I get back to the UK so that I can know that what he thinks from God. And, you know, just to summarize the testimony, when I got to the UK at the airport, Whilst I was still, you know, around there, I, I got to meet Jackie Chan uh, in a mysterious way, the, the movie star, and he linked me with a lot of great mm-hmm. people, Mariah Carey, you know, Chris Talk, uh, Chris, uh, Chris uh, Rock, Chris Tucker, you know, a lot of great people, and that was the sign that I needed. And, um, yeah, that was how I started journalism, started um, my, with my TV show. I actually started it with TV, 
tried to do mm-hmm. so after what I had to resign from my day-to-day job, which was uh, the Tesco one you spoke about. It was um, mm-hmm. a great job for me. It was paying, you know, very well. And um, I actually entered, uh, you know, the scheme through the graduate scheme. So I came out of university and got in as a manager straight away. It was good money, but again, it wasn't my dream. And um, mm-hmm. yes, I had TV, side radio, crossover to magazines. And um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, and then um, just two years ago, I got birthed into radio broadcasting through a good brother of mine who got used. And it's easy for me talking about uh, the one and only DJ Jide. And I was speaking about him during the Spin Awards. You know, he's blind, but um, he's not blind, if I can put it that way. He's physically blind, but he sees right. more than people that claim that they, more they can than... see. You know, got his best team with so many gifts. And he trained me with regards to radio. And I've been doing radio for two years. And even with the music as well, like... Um, Again, um, it was my same uh, mentor, Reverend Amata Show, told me, I said, Shaggy, you, you go to go to the studio. And, you know, I always share this testimony when I go into the studio and the producer, a guy called Pastor Chai, and this was back in 2013, five years ago. He was asking me for, for the hook of the song. Um, but I had my coat in my hand and I saw he wanted me to hang my coat on a hook. <laughs> you know, I didn't even know that uh, a colour was called a hook. I didn't know anything. But um, yeah. over the years, God has helped me. You know, I was able to do my first song, from, um, Emujo, which featured um, a, a guy called Juno Miss Rains in Jamaica and Shady Blue. And uh, the song was uh, produced by Pastor Child. And actually, I've been going from strength to strength. All the music is uh, geared to raising funds for a charity that takes care of orphans and widows and people that live on the street. But after yeah. a while, people were telling DJs were calling me, uh, OAPs were calling me on their personalities that, you know, surely I know. Uh, you're trying to do this for charity purposes, but you know, this, this thing is sounding good. Take it serious. And that's how mm-hmm. I took the music more serious. And five years down the line, you know, multiple awards all over the world, you know, uh, you know, over close to a million, you know, downloaded songs. I can't explain what God is doing. It's just God's mercy, mm-hmm. if I can put it that way. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, the the reason that we are, the way that we connected is that you were actually here in in the U.S., uh, in America, a couple of weeks ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to win yeah. <laughs> your Spin Award, <laughs> your Spin Award re- recipient. So, congratulations on that. It was such. I know that had to be such a, a surreal moment to come this far. You know, to be nominated for an award and to come this this far and to actually uh, win. You know, the award. So just and and also perform. You had the opportunity. To perform so those yeah. who were at the spin awards you know had the opportunity um to see you and um you know the other young ladies that came as well you know with you from yeah. the from the uk yes i know that had to be i mean what did that feel like my gosh y'all came that far yeah yeah it, it was a great feeling um having in mind that last year we, we were nominated in nine categories eight or nine categories if i'm right but we couldn't come down and um you know um me and DJ Jai, the, the, the station manager of Sort FM yeah. UK, you know, just, just said that, you know, Shaggy, even if both of us cannot go, because he had to man the station and do some other things, like, you need yeah. to go down. And um, it was a trip of faith, because um, mm-hmm. right here, we, we speak plain, you know, we don't mean words. So, you know, uh, I'm not going to tell I'm on radio, I'm going to, like, uh, edit the words I'm saying. It, it was a hard journey. It was, financially, it wasn't easy. Um, oh, and, no. as you know, yeah. a lot of times, when you go to a place that you're not really, let me say, you're not used to, um, you don't know what to expect. But, um, you know, as the word of God, you know, says, you know, especially with, with Abraham, who God commanded to leave his father's house and go to a place that he would mm-hmm. show him. God never showed Abraham exactly where he was going. There was no sat nerves at that time to let him know where right. he was going. But he went in faith. And that trip to to the USA was in faith. And um, we didn't know if we were going to win. But, um yeah. it, God just blew me away. You know, I spent two weeks in America and it felt like mm-hmm. two days. You know, I just, I, I went to like mm-hmm. all, almost 10, 10 cities, you know, cre- connected with a lot of brave people. I don't yeah. even know how God did it. But God just did it. And at the Spin Awards as well, um, but, you know, I met um, Jenny Royce on the red carpet. I met you as well. Yeah. A lot of great people came back with great music, you know, uh, that we're going to play on our, on our platform, Being Spy, which I've touch on the Sword FM. Met a lot of great people. God opened so many doors. Even this door that I'm talking yeah. about right now, you know, this is, that was how God opened it. So, you know, uh, the word of God says that, you know, he would do exceeding abundantly above what you think or what mm-hmm. you ask according to the power of God that works in you. And that's, that's what's happened. I never dreamt 
that this will happen. And I just really bless God. I thank God. And if anyone is listening out there, you know, um, we just need to believe. A lot of times as Christians, we quote scriptures and we, we, we sugar, sugar quote our uh, songs. But a lot of times it's difficult for us to actually believe God when we are in difficult situations. But if we can just believe him, even if we have a, 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 a mustard seed faith, he will mm-hmm. be under he, indeed he will. I mean, just, you know, this this connection alone, us having the opportunity to meet you at the Spin Awards, you coming this yeah. far. And I know from personal experience, that is not uh, um, an easy journey. It is a, it's a long yeah. flight. It It is an you expensive know. flight. You know. Oh, I know. Yeah, twice a year. I know. It's an expensive flight, you know, and we won't even talk about coming through customs either way. You know, oh, uh, man. oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So, you know, for, for us to have this connection, but you know, I'm coming your way in about two weeks. So I'm looking forward to us uh, connecting yeah, we'll when I come. I'll be about, yeah, I'll be about two hours from you. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to make something happen. <laughs> we're going to make something yeah. happen. Now. Yes, yes. We're going to make something happen. Tell us briefly, we've got a few we've got a few minutes because I want to uh I know, I know your your time is short. And we've got about maybe 8 minutes. Um tell us briefly about your book, Define Favor, because I also want to get one of your your songs in before we before we close. Wow. Yeah, D- Divine Favor was a uh, book that I wrote um 12 years ago. Um that's mm-hmm. the only book that I was I- maybe to officially publish and um i just um well the lord just laid on my heart that you know yeah shaggy you've gone through a lot um like you know when i was um 20 years old i was pronounced dead my heartbeat stopped mm-hmm. in nigeria and I mm-hmm. encounter where jesus himself raised me back you know to life you know i saw myself leave my body mm-hmm. i was pronounced dead for 10 minutes i was on campus uh, mm-hmm. at university yeah uh, being civil engineering back then um but the lord just let me know that that um it's so important to capture these kind of experiences in a book and let people read it so that they can be touched. Because um, I notice that a lot of times we human beings, we like to celebrate ourselves and we like to talk about our testimonies, but we leave the negative side out. And one of the things that my mm-hmm. dad has taught me that, I'm, that, you know, when you want light, you need the positive and the negative. If you want to use a mm-hmm. battery, if you have the negative side, you won't get any light. So it's so important as well mm. to share some of the things yeah. that are, uh, of the negative, but people are going through the same thing right about now. And um, when they can see that, oh, Paula went through this and God brought her out of mm-hmm. it, that means I have hope too. Do you understand? Right. And we look at someone like this in the Bible. David was an adulterer. He was a murderer. But God saved him, mm-hmm. and he became a man that yeah. was after God's heart. So when we read about them things in the Bible, imagine if those mm-hmm. parts were kept away. Or Noah was a drunkard, and that part was kept away. Do you understand? Yeah. All those things show us that the Bible is real and with God all things are possible. So that's what motivated the book. And the book has sold close to 100,000 copies over the years. And it's touched Amen. a lot of life. Really blessed God. That's you what uh, Divine Favor is about. The testimony of awesome. how God saved me from my ways and um, how, he, how he's blessed me, basically. Yes, yes. Awesome. Well, you know, our producer, Jerry Royce, has. A, are you okay with the time? Are you good with your time? Oh yeah, if you if you if you want me to roll on, I'll roll on. It's about God. Okay. Well, no, we're good. We're good. I just was checking because I got a message that that you might be limited on time, so I just wanted to be sure. But um, our CEO Jerry Royce has a question for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's Ray Shuggy. What's going on? All right, Shuggy. A lot of people online don't know I have more than one nickname. We want to know: is is this your birth given name or is Shuggy your nickname? You must tell us. How did you get the name? <laughs> Yeah, I do. I do get this question a lot of times. Yeah, Shoggy is my first name. Um, I have middle name, so my middle name is Olubenga. Uh, it's a Yoruba name from Nigeria, which means uh, the Lord has lifted me up. I have another name called Olushoga, which means um, the Lord has made me the master. And then my last name is Tosh, so that's the, those are my names. But I do get you know those questions. You know, even when I got to the customs at the US, like you know, um, the question of that was like, oh, your name is Shaggy Tosh, how cool, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, um, it doesn't put a lot of doors for me, you know, people like pop up their head and like, oh, that's a cool name, you know, but yeah, that's my name, yeah. Yeah, it was, and and, it you, and you do have the moves, man, that to fit the name. Um, you were up he there, does. you were giving it up, man. So tell us, man, how do you how do you stay in shape, man? Do you do you go 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 dancing or are you a runner? Tell us how you stay in shape. 
<laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, funny enough, like um, growing up, um, I, I I used to run. I almost ran for um, United Kingdom, wow. but I wasn't disciplined enough. I didn't train enough. I I, I couldn't train as I should. So. I could I couldn't pursue that path. I almost qualified for the World University Games. I used to do 400 meters and 800 meters, but um, I've learned that you know also um, you need to take care of yourself. I'm not perfect there, but I'm working on it. But you know, obviously you need to exercise and all that. So I I do jog a lot. So even when I came to the states, when I was in um, uh, Atlanta um, at the Peach uh, City uh, Peach Tree City, I I did jog around a little bit. When I got to oh, Cincinnati, wow, okay. I did jog a little bit. So I do that um, sometimes once twice a week, and uh, I just I try to. Um, I mean, God has given me a great body, you know, and um, we need we need the body. That's right. That's right. Given us a great dream, yeah. and we, we don't have the body too much, or we don't we're not taking care of ourselves, then how are we going to accomplish the dream? So I, I really bless God for for the gifts of life that He's given me, good health, um, and um, you know, especially to be uh, an artist where you have to move. Yeah, and, yeah. And um, you know, when you're a rapper as well, and you have to move as well, you need to have um, a good. Um, you know, good body, if I can put that's that way. Right. God has blessed me with that. That's right, Sugar. Because you can't be up yeah. there rapping yeah. just doing a two-step, right? <laughs> you got to take it to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. Keeping uh, yourself, Jerry Rice, you know, you're looking good, man. You know, one thing about Jerry that I you dress. You dress up. I saw you on the red carpet. I'm like, man, this suit. Yeah. Man, you know, everything was just, you know, the suit was standing in place. I was like, man, this is what's up. I didn't even put on the G, you know. You know, your chain, you blink up, you know. Your hair, your hair is beautiful. And Thank you, sir. I, I will share this with my producer uh, and the special manager, DJ Jaid, you know, that as my mentor mm-hmm. taught me, the way you dress is the way you're going to be addressed. So at times as Christians, Ooh, we, we, like we worry that. that, you know, people do not accept us, but we, mm-hmm. we look ragged, you know. Yeah, yeah. And people are like, well, if you look like that, I don't want to even know you're God. It's right, but it's right. Of, well, the Bible says mm. that, the Word of God says that, you know, uh, even God is, is robed in majesty, is robed mm. in honor and majesty, so it's so important to look the part. So I, I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming for Jerry, man. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to get there. All right, brother. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. So that was first time I wore a suit in a long yeah. time. <laughs> See, we've been yeah, chilling, man. It's been hot. It's been yeah, it's been hot and rainy here, man, all summer, man. And so we're still getting the rain. So, uh, but we appreciate you wow. joining us and thank you so much for entertaining our audience and blessing us with your presence, man. Anytime you want to come on Positive Power, just let us know and you're bam, you're here. Okay. Wow. Amen. Wow. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. Absolutely. All right. We're going to leave everybody. Um, Shout out to everyone tuning in as well. I can see Tina Hobson in the good. I can see Shay Shams. A lot of great people that I met, you know, in the, in the U.S. I can see them tuned in. So uh, tell them, yes. kids, you know, God bless you. Amen. Really yes, you guys, and man. you know she she sent she has a message for you that we will look to get you on uh, the Christian party line at a later date. That's so, right. So wow. We're going to keep that connection. So we'll That's keep that wow. connection. So All right. So yeah. And I'm ready. We'll I'm ready. That. All right. Let's we'll keep that connection. That's right. Should we get any last tell words, man? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us. Yeah. Tell the audience how they can connect with you. Yeah. Uh, very easy. Um. I've got a website, um, and the website is toshchoggy.com, so T-O-S-H-S-H-O-G-G-Y.com, and it's got all my links there. Or if you if you like to Google, just Google my name, Shoggy Tosh, and all my links pop out. If you want to download my music as well, just search on any of the, uh, the good um, uh, you know, uh, retail stores, Shoggy Tosh. All my music is out there. I'm working on my debut album called Emuja, which means dance. By those days, that should be out 2019. Actually, right now, we're in Coventry, um, uh, and um, today we're actually going to do the the Gospel Expression Awards. We've been nominated in five categories: myself as a musician, as an artist, and uh, Sort FM, and DJ Jide as well. So we're hoping to to pick up some awards. Um, and also, I'm going to perform as well a, a new song called uh, Paradise, Paradise, Paradise. So um, a lot of things yeah. are happening. People can easily connect with me and easily link Amen. link up with me. And uh, yeah, let, let, let's let's rock the banner of Jesus Christ together. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. Are we ready to hit? Thank you, my brother. And yeah. I will see you in a couple of weeks. Amen. <laughs> yeah, All yeah, right. Thank you so much. And I just want to give shout outs to, to your platform. You know, you guys do a lot of work. And uh, as you know, uh, as a journalist or as a radio announcer or as, a, as an on air personality, at times we don't get the props. But um, when we do gospel, it's God that can actually bless us. You That's know, right. people can try, but it's God that will actually bless us. And I really believe that God is going to bless you guys beyond your wildest dreams Amen. what you're doing you're doing the work of god and um, um he's the one that's going to pay you both on earth and in heaven so i just want to encourage you keep on rocking the great music keep on interviewing 
And God sees you. He sees you and he's got you. And um, in the fullness of time, he's going to do something that people are going to say, wow, that can only be God. Amen. That's right. We Amen. accept that. Amen. Thank right, you, my brother. Thank Amen. you so much. All Thank right. You. Well, we're going to hear, we're going to take a break and hear some of your music at the break. Wow. And uh, we just, <laughs> yeah, we just. Wish you the best, and thank you so much for joining us. That's this right. has been awesome, absolutely awesome. Yes, yes. Truly, truly a worldwide conversation. That's right. A treat, real thank treat. You so much. <laughs> All right, so let's hear one of these uh, these big hits. This one's called, is this called Pet Remix? How, how you pronounce that, Chuggy? Yes. Yeah, you can call it Pet Remix. You can call it P-E-T Remix. It's just basically a remix of um, three of my songs, Pamoto, mm -hmm. which means, uh, you know, dance. Uh, with a motto style in a way, and um, Ebujo, my first single means dance, and uh, T means testify. Uh, that's for my third song, testify, which features a, a, a top artist called Lala Joe from Nigeria. So there's a DJ called uh, DJ K Kang, and he mixed all the three songs together. So that's why we called it P E T Remix or Pet Remix. Amen. Well, here we go. Take care, everybody, and continue to stay tuned in, everybody. We got the ladies of radio coming up on the Christian Party Line with Shay Sams. You're listening to Gears Live Worldwide Podcast. Super DJ K Kang. Okay, chuck it on shade, now I judge it. I'm with you, I'm with you, oh, woman, look at, look at, testify. Don't worry. 